Yeah. Hey up, campers. Well, thanks for coming back, guys. Yeah. Um, so whilst we're in Bradford, I uh, obviously went to the dentist. And uh, yeah, whilst I were in there, I got a phone call. Um, it was a bit upsetting because uh, the mum lives in like um, sheltered apartments. So they've got in little independent apartments um, and they've got a shared bistro and rooms and where they go and play bingo and have a piano lounge. It's all quite posh. Um, but I got a phone call to say that uh, she'd gone down to breakfast and uh, had her uh, bacon butter and uh, got up to go back to her apartment and uh, well, she took a bit of a fall. And uh, yeah, she was down for quite a while. And uh, yeah, the uh, ambulance was called and uh, they uh, took her away. But yeah, so thanks for coming back anyway. And uh, what we'll do here is uh, we'll uh, take you through what happened whilst we were in Bradford. Mm. Obviously, there were lots, lots, lots going on. Um, we had that little drama with my mother. Mm. Um, the following day, she was actually scheduled to have eye surgery. Mm. Um, yeah, and then the day after that, one of our boys it was thirtieth, mm. so I needed to make a thirtieth birthday cake. And then the day after that, it was Mother's Day. So mm. obviously, I'm a mum. My mum's a mum. So yeah. Made a slap up afternoon tea for that. Mm -hmm. um, and then when we were leaving Bradford, something else happened. So just wait to see. <laughs> just wait to see what that was. Oh, and in amongst all that, we squeezed in lots of other projects, didn't we? Mm -hmm. You're very quiet, Dave. I just thought I'd see how long it goes. Thanks, uh, um, for. <laughs> It was said that uh, it was the price of the baking sandwich uh, in uh, your mother's... Uh... <laughs> in my mother's bistro? Yes. How much? How much? How much? But yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. yeah. Right then. So... so enjoy the video. And... and um... uh, yeah, this is my life and you could not write it. And if, if somebody from Coronation Street or EastEnders wrote it, they'd throw it out as unbelievable. Mm. They really would. So... so... Yeah, give us a like <laughs> or a... Yeah, Subscribe wait till end up video and we'll see you then. Okay then. Bye for now. Well guys, I uh, feel like I'm bringing out drama with us. Because uh, Mother had a fall this morning at 10 o'clock. And, uh, yes. Well, what can I say? I'm now at the hospital. I've uh, her in. She had her pacemaker fitted six weeks ago. She's had an irregular heart rate for seven years. Doctor said to her, do you know it's not if you fall, it's when you fall. In seven years, she's never fallen. Pacemaker, six weeks ago. And down she goes. So, here we are. Go see what's going on in here. And uh, hopefully, they, uh, they did say it's just a precaution that they've taken her in. So I'm just an ambulance chaser. This is uh, Bradford Royal Infirmary. Accident and emergency. And, uh, yeah, I went in one entrance, had to come out at the front and come back round. So, all well and good. Yeah, so, fingers crossed everybody that uh, these ambulance guys that took her off that said it's just for a precaution are uh, hitting the nail on the head. We'll uh, go and find out now, bless her. Accident and emergency paediatric entrance. That's not my mother. I should try this one. Am I in here? Ambulance access. Oh, a bit well. Right. See you later. So, it's a bit of a big kitchen, this, isn't it? It's great, isn't it? What's going on? Hey. Um, making some sauce for lasagna. Mm, sauce for lasagna. Sauce for lasagna. Mm. With my. Depending on how many times you pull it, depends on how fine it chops it. Mm, very nice. 
Look at that. Mm. So I don't think I have to sit for hours chopping, do you love? No. So, yeah. Right. You get a workout. Yeah, you get a workout. Why save, you got, save you got at gym. Ready prepared cookies. And you get to put the skin in. So it's extra healthy. Skin in. Mm. Skin in. Can I have a go? No, you broke the last one. <laughs> <laughs> so, and you can put every bit of your celery in, which is great. No waste, is it? No. That's very good, isn't it? So you can see how, how fine it chops. Okay, that. The old plastic bit. Eh? You don't need to put them in. Fill in some onions. You see, I can put these in because I can practically pulverise them. David mm. hates them. Mm. But when I put it in with a load of other veggies, then we get pulverised onions mm. so oh, they can in. go in. How oh, come you're not cooking in Martha? Because we're making dinner for me, Mum. So I'll show you. How much a couple of poles does. That's three tubs. So you've got some quite big bits in there. Mm. And give it another couple of tubs. And mm. you've got fine veggies for a sauce. Or a soup. Right. Works out well in bush, doesn't it? We've not got uh, yeah, electric we'll good have stuff. Got an electric chopper. Mm. And the thing is, it's, uh, it's a good workout. Mm, there's ice cubes and everything, doesn't it? Yeah, have crushed eggs, whatever you want. Crushed nuts. Crushed nuts. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Well, that's it. Well done. Uh, um, that's a washing machine. If anybody didn't know what a washing machine sounded like, that's a washer. I think sometimes I forget what a washer sounds like. Mm. So, yeah. So, start with a big veggie snack bowl. Mm. And tomato soup for lunch. Because, uh, we're taking Mum back to hospital today. Oh, I didn't tell you, when we went yesterday, it was good. She got a bit of an MRT. Mm. And uh, she's all good. She just wanted to make sure she was all right, she was on blood thinners. Um, and uh, yeah, today she's having a cat left. Hmm? So, I'm making some nice healthy meals for when we get back. It's costing us a fortune with NHS. Why is it costing us a fortune with NHS? Hmm? All that too. All that going back and forward and all them doctor's times ah, and stuff. But, but, today, right, hmm. today, cataracts are getting done at private hospital. Yeah. Getting treated by the Queen. Yeah, you know what's, you know what's good, don't you? It's the same doctors. Oh, yeah. But you get at NHS. But they can charge a bit more. I know, but it's uh, it. simple clean. Simple. Dave's not allowed to touch this because it's quite dangerous. Just give it a rinse and we'll go to that. Right. Right. Yeah. All done. You're just throwing all them all of the tins in. No, because I'm going to put some pork mince in there. Oh, pork mince in. Pork mince. Yeah, put your pork mince. Oh, wait till my veggies have softened. Go away. Get out of the kitchen, dear. day another project so we're up to it today new cat litter tray new cat litter tray yeah she, we had the one for, other one for now for quite a while and she's uh the cat's eventually gone through it 
and try to find a, a decent box. You can't get them. So put a jet on it, and you know what happens. Comes up with a solution. Oh, that's all right, isn't it? So what's that you're using? Soldering iron. Soldering iron. Last one I used a pair of scissors type thing and it cracked all that so I had to tape it. So there's no wonder she went through it to be fair, is there? No. So yeah. So What's that all for? That's the cat to go through to a cat litter. And that's for full balls, eh? This will be for full balls, yeah. Hmm. It does take forever, so you know, you don't have to stay with me, Dave. It's like uh, cutting through butter it's with a not knife. It's not exactly a butter through knife, is it? But it'll make for a ro more robust thing. These boxes cost about a fiver. If you want to buy one where a cat goes through the top, they cost about 30 to 40 quid. And they don't have the bespoke holes for the uh, raised dinner bowls either. So, you know, just make your own. Why won't you? Yeah, why not? Takes a while to find the right thing, but they will find it eventually, don't we? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Not sure. I'm just showing Princess in corner. Yeah. yeah. Where's your mother look? Yeah. Audrey good... Edburn. Yeah, Audrey Edburn <laughs> or, or Roy Orbison, whichever you fancy. I said I surgery yesterday. Oh, like Osmonds. <laughs> Osmonds, yeah. And of course, Bob's here. Bob, Bob. Splunking. Splooting. As well. Some say it's like, you know, like some say um, splunking and some say splooting. Splunking, splooting. It's like tomato, tomato. All right. See you, everyone. See ya. Hey there, princess. Sleeping Beauty. So let's show everybody what uh, your mama was up to when we were at Grandma's. So if you didn't already know, right, we have a slew. And a slew is a shower and a loo. And in there is where Princess Smudge can have some quiet time. Can you see she's got her own special little cat door? So she's got a cat flap. Do 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 do. And if we're ever wondering about her escaping, we can pop her in there, close the flap, and uh, she's all safe and secure. But nine times out of ten, that's up, and uh, that's where she goes to uh, have a tea and do her business. So let's have a look. Alright then, so this is what I was creating. So this is our shower toilet and uh, basically I don't know whether you know but uh, dogs absolutely love cat poop to eat so uh, yeah the cat litter tray has to be away from the dogs there we go look at that yeah. so she's always been a house cat and ever since i saw on an american tv channel um uh, top loading uh, cat litter tray Obviously dogs can't get in there to eat their little treats. Um, we've wanted one. And uh, yeah, they cost a fortune. Very few and far between in this country. And uh, yeah, so I made my own. And this is just a new and updated version, especially for her. And when we want to go to the shower, you just pick it up, lift it out, and there's the shower tray. Okay, so this is a little bit better than most because this is bespoke. You don't normally get a top-loading cat litter tray that comes with cat food 
because believe it or not the dogs blinking will like that as well i think cat food are their treats so yeah top tip for van life if you've got a cat um that uh, don't like to go outside to do a business because ours doesn't i don't think she's ever done a business outside in uh, 13 years um because she was seven years an house cat so she goes outside don't you smudge and then you come and you knock on the door saying let me in she goes to the toilet and then you knock on the door again don't you darling and uh, yeah knock on the door again and uh, tell us you want to go out yeah right so yeah that what that is what i was doing at mum's making uh, our little princess oh my making our little princess her uh, new little toilet in a board so yeah these are the things we get up with up to yes yes you tell them darling these are the things that we get up to no you don't agree hey say bye smudge bye smudge bye smudge So something's happening. This uh, police officer has uh, just pulled up. We just missed getting through the lights. And uh, I get the impression that there's something coming through that is uh, holding all the traffic for. So bear with us and watch because he's stopped traffic four ways. We've already had, all right, Bob. Bob don't like it, look. Oh, here we go. So we'd already had one police bike come through. So now we've got looks like a cavalcade. Oh, oh, oh. You never know, it might be Prime Minister, it could be anybody. But there's definitely an accompanied uh, somebody going on here. Look at that. Oh, answers on a postcard, look. Please, 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 please. That is, oh, somebody's being guarded. But who is it? What is it? That's where right. your taxpayers' money's going. <laughs> That's where your taxpayers' money's going. Right, so we'll just wait for traffic lights to uh, change and uh, off we go. <laughs> this is what happens when you go urban, isn't it, Dave? Oh, exciting stuff. You don't get this at the nursery. <laughs> yeah, you don't get this at the nurseries, definitely not. Right, okay then. So, uh, yeah, look, this is urban. <gasps> oh. This is what civilization looks like. Blue lights all gone now. <laughs> Answers on a postcard if you knew what that were about, please. Yeah, there you go. All exciting stuff. Oh yeah, Mum were okay. She took a tumble at ten in the morning, and uh, we got home what about six o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. So they proper kept her in. Did all sorts of blood tests and ECG and. Yeah, her blood pressure was through the roof and she's on loads of different medications, but anyway. Um, as you know, she uh, got that full MOT and she was good to go and had a cataract surgery mm. the next day, mm. which was brilliant. To be honest with you, um, things have changed now. In, uh, when she had a little tumble, they, they left her on the floor until ambulances came. Yeah, care she staff aren't allowed to pick mm. them up. Um, so they have to ring ambulances. So I think it's a good idea that. But uh, had she not been on uh, blood thinners, um, she'd mm. probably stayed at home. But yeah. Uh, yeah, it all worked out okay. It was uh, pretty scary there for a while. She had MRI and yeah, she took a bit of a mump on her head. She was unconscious for a while. Mm. 
uh, yeah, and as you probably know, it's, it is quite scary. So then we fill this time with. They have put another rasher of bacon in some of these, don't they? And charge 50p less. Yeah. Yeah. So, <clears throat> how much? How much? Behave. So, yeah. Um, so we can reveal. Well, no, we, we had a fantastic family celebration after that, right. and we went out for one of our boys' 30th and yes. uh, made a mammoth cake. Um, oh, there'll be more cake. cakes later this year. That was very um, nice, that yeah. cake. Yeah, Whoa. and uh, mm. yeah, went out for a fantastic mm. Italian meal. Mm. And uh, yes, the next day was Mother's Day, so I made proper afternoon tea mm -hmm. which went on all day very nice yes um, because I, went, I overdid it as every, always every day should be mother's day <laughs> mm -hmm. um yeah and princess princess smudge we did a little project project at my mum's uh for our princess smudge because uh, i did mention that she were an house cat she was we were she we were prison wardens um she was a house cat because we lived next to a main road mm. So she was uh, seven years a house cat. She did, she did go out back garden. But yeah, she she'd go out in garden she with dogs. Out there, yeah. um, mm. But she she would come back in. So yeah, she never learnt to go to the toilet outside. So mm. um, she actually uh, knocks on the door to come in now to go to the toilet, and then knocks on the door for us to let her to go out again. She's a freak. She's a little freak. She's a bit annoying. <laughs> it is really. Well, there you go. Um, yeah. Good job. And then we were leaving Bradford and we got stopped by Plod again. Oh, I mean, it's great. This is a big reveal. After a day's research. What a day? Yeah, it took me over a day yeah. to find out what it was. It was worth it. Was it really worth it? Yeah. It was the Prime Minister. Prime Minister. It was the Prime Minister. If I'd known, I might have. Um, you know that hadn't shown your bottom? Yes, well, no, I could have got arrested for that. But yeah, maybe. Oh, could you? The thing about it is, yeah, well, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, well, someone might have parked me back a bike there or something, you know what I mean? Okay. But no, the, um, I don't think they should be all, all that fuss or whatever it is. How much money? You know what I mean? That is absolutely, so there were, there were two, two police, um, the, 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 the motorbikes went through. Mm. There were one holding them up, mm. and then there were them four big black Land Rover SUV jobs. Obviously, he was in one, but mm. then he had his entourage in the other three. But you know and then there were another two police motorbikes behind. You know what score is? So, what about me being late for my tea? Being held up by him? You know what I mean? Oh, that's priority. I think my tea comes first. Well, honestly, we're like waiting for it. We're mm, waiting at level crossing for yeah. train, weren't it? We were about 10 minutes. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so, so the, the like Prime say, Minister. Thank you to the Prime the, Minister. The, <laughs> for holding us up. You won't get my vote. Oh, behave. So, uh, mm. yeah. We, I'm uh, for my tea. We had, we had a wild old time in Bradford. Oh, yeah. Lots of blue flashing lights, obviously. Mm. It was meant to be. Mm. And uh, we were glad to get off and uh, go back and we started doing a bit of camping. Proper like camping. I say, not, like not, I say, we got, we got a lot done. Some got missed, some got, you know what I mean? But we got as much as we could done. Yeah. Always leave a bit for next time. Yeah. Anyway. Thank you for, if you're still watching us by this time and you haven't fallen asleep, well done. And uh, if you uh, like what you like, uh, give us a, a like. <laughs> like what you like, give us a like. That's good, that, isn't it? Or and you can, uh, uh, subscribe to yeah, find subscribe, out yeah. Yeah, mm. what cakes I'm going to make in the next episode. Yeah. Ah, mm. right then. <laughs> so, yeah, it's been a funny old one. And yeah. uh, thanks for sticking with us. Yes. And uh, we'll see you again soon. Yep. Give us a thumbs up and put your comments down below. And uh, yeah, we'll have a chat soon. Yeah, bye. <laughs> bye.